In this activity, you've been asked to create a program to randomly generate a lucky up lottery ticket. The lottery ticket must have five numbers between the values of 1 and 49, and two bonus balls between the values of 1 and 12. Okay, so the first thing that we want, the key, first of all, is random. So we don't want the user to input them. We want them to be randomly generated by the computer. Within Python, we have a module called random, which is lots of random uh, features which you can use to generate random numbers, random strings, or choose random objects from lists, for example. To start us off, we're going to need to input, import this module or library, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to import random to start off with. And then the next thing that we're going to need, obviously there are two sets of numbers. So we've got the, the ordinary numbers, i.e. within the range of 1 and 49, and then we've got the bonus balls, which are between the range of 1 and 12. So we're going to use, uh, to store this, we're going to use a list. And that's just a way of collecting multiple items together underneath uh, one in one place. So we could create a list called numbers, which we'll just do now. We'll call it main numbers. I was going to declare that as an empty list. So we'll do that by using the square brackets. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to have a list for the bonus balls and again we're going to start it off being an empty list okay so now we've created um, two lists we know that we're going to need five numbers within the main numbers list and we're going to need two numbers within the bonus balls list so to do this there's a few different ways we could do it we could use a length function and just work out the length but in this example i'm going to use two counters one is going to be called main numbers count and that's going to be declared to zero at the start and then this one's going to be called bonus numbers count and that's going to be equal to zero and um, what we're going to use with these we're going to increment these by one each time a, a number is added into each list and we'll use that to control our while loop so the first thing we need to do is to set up the while loop that we're going to use. It's going to be while, and I want, first of all, to deal with the main number. So I am going to say while main numbers count. Is less than five. And what we're going to do now is we're going to generate a random number. And to do this, we say number equals random so this is called the random library or module that we've imported and we're going to be using that and what we're looking for is a random int so we're going to use rand int and inside brackets we put in the range and the range for our numbers is going to be between the range of 1 and 49 And now, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to append the numbers into the list now. So when the number is generated, we are going to append that into the main numbers list. So that's main numbers dot the append function, which adds it in the next available index within the list. Main numbers dot append in brackets. We want to append in. <coughs> we want to append in the number. So I'm going to type in the number variable, which is randomly generated in the line of code above that. So just to see if this is working at the minute, and we're going to go and we're going to print out main underscore numbers. I need to change these because I made a mistake. I've used camel casing but I've declared them using underscore number equals random. So now if I run this, that's wrong, that shouldn't have a capital. If I, if I let and run it, let's see what happens. Save it first, I'm gonna call it quick pick two. Missing parentheses and call to print. Yeah, so I've missed my brackets around what it is I actually want to print out. F5 it again.
and now what's happening is we're running an infinite loop and we're not actually so the computer is constantly randomly generating these um, numbers although nothing's actually coming out on the screen whenever we run it and the reason for that is because at the start we use this main numbers count but we haven't actually put it into the loop so what we're going to do now is to um, increment that each time that it's run by one so main numbers count plus or equal one so what this is going to say is while the length of main or while main numbers count is less than five it starts off at zero it is going to randomly generate a number put it into the list and then it's going to change the main numbers count by the value of one and what should happen now is as this is increasing whenever it breaks out of this while uh, condition it should then print out the numbers press f5 press ok and you can see there now it's working 27 25 1 35 and 24 let's just try it again there's a slight problem at the minute 2449 you can see there this highlighted so we've got two the number 49 has come out twice obviously in a lottery ticket we don't want that to happen so what we're going to do now is we're going to say rather than just append the number we need to check if it's in the list already so we're going to use an if statement i'm going to say if let's just move that down out of the way if number not in and then the name of the list which is main underscore numbers if the number is not in main numbers and we're obviously going to need to put the full colon there and indent this in because it's an if loop so now what's that changed is in the previous example you can see we had the number 49 twice because we had set up the program to allow that obviously in the lottery you wouldn't want to have a ticket which got the same number twice because you've got no chance of winning so what we're going to do now the same idea check is the count less than five if it is create a random number and then if the number is not in main numbers the list then append it in and change the count plus one now it's important we keep the the main numbers count plus one um, in this part of the code because if we put it up here we could potentially only get three or four numbers printed out if we have duplicate values okay so the count should only be done after the numbers actually appended into the list and after it has been checked to make sure it's not there already so again we're going to f5 that press ok and you can see now 143, 6, 8, 28. F5 it again, just to show. 10, 49, 22, 15, 4, 44. So again, very simple idea. And what we need to do now is we need to duplicate this really for the uh, bonus ball. So again, while bonus. balls is bonus balls count is less than two colon and I'm moving this print statement to the bottom because that's the last thing I want to do is to print that out why bonus balls count is less than two same idea I want to copy this piece of code save me for the time typing it And now I'm going to change the range. Obviously, with the bonus balls are between the values of 1 and 12. So I'm going to use 1 and 12. And then again, if number is if number not in bonus underscore balls we append it in the same way bonus balls dot append and we append a number variable and the same way we will now have to change this count to increment by one each time a number is added into the list so I'm going to say bonus ball 
kite. Plus, plus or equals to one. And then all I'm going to do now is change the print statements. So it prints out main numbers, and I'm also going to print out. Um, I'm also going to print out the bonus balls just to make sure it works. F5 that and see if there's any mistakes. Bonus balls count is not defined. I must have made a mistake. Bonus numbers count, I've called. Bonus. Numbers count. I should change that. That happened because I declared it as bonus numbers count, and down here I've called bonus balls count, which did not exist. So that mistake was. So hopefully now it should run. Bonus balls count is not defined. Where have I done that? Bonus. Oh, up here as well. I've used it. So with its numbers. F five that. And now you can see it's printed out the five numbers and then the two bonus balls and that will continue to run um, each time we want it to. So what we might want to do now is just change. Well, the first thing actually, if you look, if I run that again, whenever you get a lottery ticket, they're usually sorted in ascending order. So 7, 26, 39, 31, 9, they would usually be in the order of 7, 9 26 31 39 um, and to do that we can use the sort function so before we print out the lists we're just going to sort them we're going to move them to the left because we want this to run after the lists have been populated and i'm just going to call main numbers dot sort open and close brackets and Bonus underscore balls over and close brackets. F5 that. Oh, I haven't finished it. Cancel. Bonus balls. And I want to sort them. Now you can see I've just noticed that up here I've called it bonus balls and bonus numbers down here. So we should really change that to bonus numbers because it's awkward if I'm talking about bonus balls and bonus numbers. If I just go back and change this to numbers, I don't think I've used it anywhere else. What should happen now is before the numbers are printed out, Python's going to sort them into ascending order, hopefully. Uh, uh, bonus pause is not defined, so I've used it somewhere else. Where is it? Bonus here, bonus main, I'm missing the numbers and bonus numbers dot sort that you run and i need to change the print statement as well actually because i've got it down here and that's just come out about because of the poor name and the variables at the start it's important that we use it consistently so we're not going to confuse ourselves like i've just done bonus ball is not defined so we've used it somewhere else If not in number bonus balls, if not in bonus numbers, let's F5 that. And you can see now it's sorted them in the order 5, 19, 25, 30, 34, 8, and 12. So, quite a simple problem. Um, we've made use of loops. And we have made use of lists to store the data and we've introduced this idea of random functions. Keep the key difficulty in this task is working out a way to make sure that duplicate values do not exist within each list. And that's basically by using that's been done by using an if statement in the while loop. So that once the random number is generated, we want it, we only want it to go into the list if it's not in the list already. So we want to say if number not in main numbers. Uh, then we append it in and if 
it is in main numbers it just runs this again until main numbers count breaks this condition becomes um, equal to five